Welcome back to Franbo. After what feels like forever, we've finally gotten home, but it's not exactly the warm welcome I was hoping for. Instead, we're chained to a bed. So, let's try to get out. I think at the end of the last episode, Fran said something about the other... like, the other versions of her that might exist in different realities. I think she just said something about getting their attention, didn't she? But, uh, anyway, for now, I guess let's just take a look around the room. <laughs> I painted this one. It's Kitty and me. Time for the cuckoo clock. Oh. And the wind took all the magical dust away. Uh oh. Hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you're chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you're... myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the Ultra Reality. Did you meet Edward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already. But I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you're broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into Ultra Reality is... to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. You think... I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are... they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones... Do you know why we can see these things? Yes. A man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then, why we see the things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. A good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty. You know, our best friend? I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh, I actually get to play as the other Fran. Cool. Uh, so what does she have? She's got nothing on her right now. <laughs> She's wearing, like, a totally oversized dress. And all these beads, too. Oh, it's this thing again. Hmm. It's the exact same, like, music thing as before. Makes the same sound. The big, big teddy that eats big, big monsters. Please talk. I know you can. No? Aw. Hello, Dr. Oswald. I'm completely normal, don't you see? I'm just a funny, clever girl. That's all. This shirt is angry with me. It didn't fit, so I said it was a dumb shirt. It's been lying on the floor since then. Blue scarf from wintertime. What is it doing here? It's not winter. Ah, oh, that's Palantras. I do this after my journey with Edward and Palantras. I think Palantras is funny and smells like bubblegum. Well, it certainly looks like Palantras is made out of bubblegum. Or maybe cotton candy. And Edward likes to play all day long. Ugh, that jacket. I always must put on that jacket to go outside. I can't even play then. It's quite useless. Aw, my yellow dress is pretty. I'll try to not grow up much, so I can use it forever. <laughs> Good luck with that, friend. 
Did you do bad things? That's why you're grounded, little lady. Oh, here we go. My key collection. I hope I can unlock the other Fran now. One blue blanket and one white. I don't need them right now. Crayons draw happy faces on everything. I don't feel like drawing right now. Some of my clothing to make shows. Let's see. Let's hope I've got the right key in here. Let's see. Which key? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's got to be pretty long. Have a long tooth or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to guess this one. Ah. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much, Fran. <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget, Palantros told me that if we met someday, I should give this to you. <gasps> Wait, is it going to be the solution to the box that I have? Here, I think it will help you to open something. I knew it! Yes. Palantros? You know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met, you would be ready for what, for what's about to come. For what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh, no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Uh, wait, doesn't she notice that there's two friends? Maybe she can't see the other friend. Hmm. Come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. She doesn't see me? She doesn't see me. No, don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. That's right. It was Gladys, wasn't it? The one that talked about the freezing, uh, the frozen body? Her body being found frozen in the woods? Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Okay, we're free. Okay, so this is the box. And this is what should help me open it. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Huh? So yeah, it looks like I can definitely use the different spots. Like, I guess I can press the button on the left, the button on the right, and the eye. I think that's it. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Okay, so let's look at this again. Okay, so... Twice to the left, once to the right. So let me write this down. So two left... One right... Rub its only eye two times. So two center. And then once on the left. And then once on the eye. And then that should do it. Okay, two left. One, two. One right. One. Two center, one, two, one left, and then once in the center. There we go. 
Oh my goodness, it opened. I'm a master. A master of unlocking. <clears throat> Resident Evil reference. What's this? A kitty cat key. Oh, that must be for, uh, for the inside of Mr. Midnight. Hmm, but first, what's this? Designed by Cogwind. Oh, the ECOG clock. Looks cool. <laughs> it's got five piano keys there. That's not even an, that's not even an octave. That's like half an octave. That's not even half an octave actually. It's not a lot of uh, not a lot of freedom there. I think I must wake up Mabuka. Why would Palantros give me this? It must be important. Let's see. Mabuka, Mabuka, wake up, mother. Mabuka. Wake up, Mother Mabuka? Mother Mabuka? I don't know, that sounds weird. The horned child is playing with the light. The Velocus is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up. And give up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the ECOG clock on the back of the giant cat. Is this supposed to rhyme? I feel like I read that wrong. Because part of it rhymed, but then most of it didn't. Built the ECOG clock on the back of the giant cat. Hmm. Well, I don't think this is relevant at the moment, unless the giant cat is this, but this isn't giant. This is smaller than a normal cat. Well, let's go ahead and use the key. Oh god, what's happening? How in the heck did doing that make the door magically change? I don't know, but I'll take it. Let's look around. <laughs> nice aliens. Aw, I love this comic. I like the part when the alien takes the girl to another planet. It's always nice to see new places, like a thirst up. Oh god. This is not home. This is the other reality. Am I in the ultra reality right now? I don't think so. Ah, oh, Kamala. Nasty creatures. Poor tree. He must be really sad with that Kamala eating from him. I know Kamalas don't like water. Oh, it's actually eating the tree? Huh. It looks like the tree can talk, too. Like, it, I think it has eyes. I think it's living. Like, beyond just the way a tree normally lives. I think it's sentient. Hmm. Well, I don't have any water. Wow. Things have changed a little bit. The house looks so old and bloody. I wonder what happened to the street. My lovely kitty. I love these pictures. Mr. Midnight's bed. Oh, I can almost hear him purring. Huh, that's odd. The bed is still a little warm. Hmm? As if Mr. Midnight was just there? Interesting. The Nutcracker stands on guard. I think he's afraid of the ladies. Because sometimes he bites me for no reason at all. <laughs> Ooh. There's one of those little pine cone friends. Oh, I can move stuff around. Hmm. I rescued the queen from my dad's playing cards. I was forced to cut out her twin sister, though. The other queen is dead now. This is Tesla, and he likes to play with energy. I had a dream where he was made of thunder. He was Thunder Man, superhero. This one is Albert, and he likes relative things. It's convenient to think that everything is relative. 
especially if you don't have a straight answer. I'm going to keep this little piano to play lovely melodies. <laughs> That's so cute. I guess all the keys have just been, like, painted on. That's adorable. Is something back there? Yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like you can maybe peel this. Oh, there's a key back there. Hello. Oh, I ripped the paper off. Something back there? I feel the texture. What could it be? Hmm. Well, I've still got the knife. There we go. Aha, a key. I bet this can unlock something. The door to the dollhouse. It's a matchbook. I don't need matches right now. I robbed this painting from one of my friend's dollhouse. After that, I never invited him to play. Never invited him again to play with me. <laughs> Aww. There's some writing back here. Looks like there's some writing here too, but it's too like stretched and blurry to read. And the world something, lady something, upside down, her tears drowning, good friend always to make. Hmm. I want to read the rest of it. I don't like to drink sodas because my tummy gets mad, but a teacher made an instrument with lots of caps added to a stick. Then we formed a band called Shucks. School and Sucks put together. <laughs> My mother drew this flower for me. I lied to my friend once and told her that I drew it myself. But then I told her the truth, and she said it was okay. Oh, that's the cork for like a wine bottle. This little uh, nightstand. Kind of looks like a drum too. It's cute. Crayons, Lady Gnome, Teddy, Ballerina, yes, all in its place. The doll likes to read a lot. I know because I taught her. I bet she can tell all the stories in the books from memory. I should teach her to talk too, so she can tell me the stories. Oh, Mr. Midnight. <laughs> I love this picture of Mr. Midnight. He looks so confused. Mommy and I ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that day. I think Mr. Midnight ate a bunch of insects. To ride the choo-choo train is the best. It sings all the time. Choo-choo! The big doll my daddy and I built together. Her name is P1, and she likes to be naked. <laughs> she had a dress once, but she burned it. Just a regular scarf, doing what regular scarves do. My lovely peach dress for sunny days. The coat for when it's windy and cold. The summer dress. It has a big button. My summer hat. It doesn't fit anymore. My head is too big. I don't believe you can hear the ocean in the shell at all. I think it's just my ear making it up. Lots of candy in the jar. Ew, it has cat hair all over it. I won't lick it. Oh god, it's an unwrapped lollipop. Ew. Also, that is like the creepiest doll ever. That's like murder you in your sleep doll. Hello, don't look at me like that. We had a deal. You stay here until I grow up. <laughs> because grown up people are not afraid of dolls, I think. You should burn it. The shoes, they like to cover my feet. These make me think of the great dancer in Athirsta. I wonder if he will dance again without the shoes. 
balloons. Balloons in many colors. I will take my sleeping bag when I find Mr. Midnight. My tiny sock for my tiny feet. Lunchbox? My school case. I may need it. I use this mirror to see my beautiful face. Also to comb my hair and see if the clothing fits. Hmm. Aw, this is Alice from school. We like to play together. <laughs> Her name was Alice? Hmm. She tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. A wonderful land. A girl named Alice who visits a wonderful land. I feel like that must be a reference to... Nah, probably not. We have so much fun making stuff up together. Okay, I think that's it for the room. Can we leave? Oh, we can. Jesus. Oh god, does the eye follow me? Oh, it does. That's creepy. What a big eye. What are you looking at? Are you looking at my beautiful face? Do I know you? You seem familiar. My first urge is to stab the eyeball with a knife, but I guess I'd be kind of rude. Door 105. It's locked, of course. Oh, there's a key. Huh. A key to unlock things that are locked. Okay, so I've got two keys now. Door 104. Locked. It's all bloody. Alright, so four locked doors. Four locked doors, two keys. Nope. There we go. Uh, let's see if the other key unlocks one of the other doors. Oh. Does that go to the roof? No, that's not a roof. Do you follow me too? No, you don't, thankfully. Hey, there's like a, a button here. Oh, turns on and off these lights here. Intruder! Infiltrator! Why would you enter without presenting yourself? I'm Okula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty! Uh, oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal? Queen? Princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends. How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage enter Mabuka's underground. He's still down there, inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose. Its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him. It's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go and find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave, and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Okula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. What a nice giant eyeball. A golden snail. Is somebody in there? Maybe the snail is asleep. Shh. Hello, curtains. Are you hiding something from me? 
Oh, I think they are. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh! No, go back! Let's go there later. I don't like that. The eyes are looking around. I wonder what they see if they don't have a brain. Ah, a hairbrush to brush hair. Huh. This mirror is transparent. Oh yeah, it is. It's not actually reflecting anything. It's more like a window. A wind roar? <laughs> a mirror? Window? Wind roar? Wind roar? Compressing your vision? Ouch. The bulbs are very hot. I hope you find your cat friend soon. I still see him inside that cage. Would you like your hair brushed? Oh, guess not. You know what, can I open this? Can I open the case? I guess not. I guess there's nothing in it. I was thinking maybe it had supplies and stuff. God, I love the art in this game. It's so good. Oh, this one's moving. Ugh. Hello, Mr. Skull. You have a little flesh left on you. My kitty would lick and chew that out of you. Ew. Would you like to be eaten by my kitty? <laughs> I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your, be tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key, then. And who are you, if I may, a if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who's Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave. Now, just leave. But, Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of the darkness. The darkest darkness. The obscurity. The end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I at the fifth reality? I thought Remor was the king here. Ah. Remor, the terrible black. The son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I've said enough. Alright. I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. So that's the creature I've been seeing is the son of the darkness? I really don't want to meet Mabuka then. Jesus. Remember what I told you, his teeth are reinforced and he won't open his mouth. I know, I know. Oh, I can keep talking to him. Sir, do creepy things like you feel pain? Pain is the opposite of welfare. That's all. Maybe welfare to me is to bleed until my body dries. And pain could be the crystalline laugh of a child. So, yes, I feel pain. I see. Well, I'll go now. Bye. Reinforced teeth, huh? How about I stab you? No, okay, maybe not. Is this Edward's clothing? But where is he then? Edward, are you somewhere near? <laughs> I just imagined him without any clothes. Inside the little house. Oh, that's uh, the clue, I guess, to get the key that's in the dollhouse. Well, I've already gotten it. Oh, a little message in the pocket.
eight, six, seven, five. No. Oh, I think that's his top hat. Edward forgot his hat. Or maybe the hat forgot its head. Or maybe the hat can't exist without the head, and vice versa. That means nothing is real. Wow. <laughs> Little Fran the Existentialist. Hmm. That is seriously like one of the freaking creepiest things ever. Jesus. You're not Mabuka, are you? Uh. I'm not done, Mother. I'll take another bath after this one, because I stink. Who told you that you stink? The creeps that walk on my skin, they're getting sick. They vomit every time they eat from my skin, because I stink. Ew, what the fu- I don't smell anything. What is this smell we're talking about? I stink like the most unpleasant stench. I believe you, but I can't smell it. Sorry, I have to go now. Bye. Ew. Oh, it's a whale. A painting of a whale. Very nice. Real whales are nice too. Very amazing creatures. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? Yes, actually it does, and also the look of it just kind of being exposed in the bloody wound in your chest that is bleeding out into the bath, that also kind of disturbs me a little bit. It can stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I don't like thinking about my heart's beat, I just want the soap. The soap? Are you having trouble with hygiene? Uh, yes. Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright then, take it. It's all yours. Oh, look at the smile! <laughs> but be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep the heads, their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. Goodbye. Jesus. Would you like some soap? I guess not. The soap smells good. Good. Okay, let's go this way this time. Insert button. <laughs> Hello, happy monkey. Is your name Darwin? Nice to meet you. I'm Fran. You play the drums very well. Paper swirls, just like in the first step. It seems like it won't budge. Maybe I have to give a coin or something. It says insert button. Then I should insert a button. A button. Maybe they meant a coin? Nah, it must be a button. Hmm. Looks like it'll give me the key for room 103. I don't have a button though, do I? Nope. This bottle is perfect. I'll take it. I may need this wire in the near future. Oh, look at the outlet. It's a uh, European style. Hmm. Alright, I have lots and lots of stuff. Am I supposed to make this now? Ooh. Oh, it looks like it even checks everything off as I get it. Empty case, soap bar, black wire, piano keys. I need a working bulb. Oh. Well, in that case, let me turn this off and take a bulb. Of 
great. I got the light bulb now. Okay, check. Need a wake-up clock. Hmm. Bottle with water. Well, I've got a bottle, but I need water. Um. Don't tell me I need... Oh, no. Don't tell me I need the water from the bath. I don't need bath water, do I? Its, it's name is Bath Boy. That don't look like no boy. Oh, there's a faucet. Thank God, there's a separate faucet. This could work wonderfully if the water was on. Yes, let's do that. I fill the bottle with water. La la la. Okay, I need a glove and a wake-up clock. Um... Hmm. I don't suppose this coat has a button? I don't see any buttons. Oh, wait a minute. In the closet. In the closet, there was clothes that had one... Uh, like, summer clothes that had one big button or something, right? It was this one. There we go. Haha. -ha. A big pink button for my summer dress. Okay, anything else we can maybe use from here? A glove and a wake-up clock. Hmm, do I need any of these dresses? I don't think so. I need an alarm clock. Well, I've got a clock, but this is not an alarm clock. Hmm. What about in here? What about this? I guess I can't take it. Wait a minute. Why does this seem different? Am I crazy or is this different? Wasn't there a little table? With like a light on it? I wonder if how I rearrange this maybe changes something. Hmm. I wonder. Well, anyway, I guess for now we know what to do. Because I've got the button. So let's go use it. And there goes my button. Now what? Oh, I think I disconnected the machine. It has no power now. Oh, okay. I was wondering about that. I was like, how am I going to use it if I disconnected it? <laughs> well, that monkey's, like, weird sneering mouth open just looks so creepy. <sighs> That's not the key. At least I hope this can help somehow. I'm going to take that back now. Okay, so it is for room 103, right? Which is this one. Hmm. Alright. Got these pliers from the monkey machine. What am I going to do with pliers? Let's see, can I start combining stuff right now? Nope. Not just yet. Still need a wake-up clock and a glove. Hmm. Yeah, what am I gonna do with the pliers? What can I ply? Oh, the key from the mouth? Yeah, probably. Oh! I didn't think that's what you were gonna do. But I guess that... Ew, Fran! 
That's so gross. I'm so sorry. How could you? I hope somebody takes off your teeth as well. Well, the Tooth Fairy already took all of my baby teeth. Insane, isn't it? She doesn't even feel bad for what she just did. Fran? Shiny little key, come here. I wonder what door you'll unlock. Huh, it's not even for 103. There we go. <gasps> Giant Mr. Midnight! Okay, you're what I have to construct all this stuff on. Right? Isn't that what it said? Do do do. Let's build the ECOG clock on the back of the giant cat. Yeah, so it needs to be built on the back of the giant cat. And the only things I'm missing are the alarm clock. And the glove. And there's the glove right there, wiggling around in the tree, and there's the alarm clock. Okay, well I think we know what we need to do. But I think I'm going to save doing them for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.